Howdy folks, my name is Mark and I do STEM education. Today I want to share with you something that is really cool with the VEX uh, V5 system called the GPS sensor or the game positioning system. Anyway, uh, I think you're really going to enjoy this brand new thing from uh, VEX. And so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so quick story time, everybody. Uh, I am now teaching high school. Uh, so if you know anything about me, I've been teaching middle school for the past six years, seven years almost. And this year I'm teaching high school. I'm super excited to do it. And so now I'm not doing VEX IQ anymore, um, but I am staying well versed in the whole VEX ecosystem. So uh, I will probably still be doing videos uh, in all the various different VEX stuff. But the uh, VEX V5 stuff is going to be a lot more my game now. So uh, I ordered these new sensors called these GPS sensors. Okay. And these things are friggin' amazing. Let me go ahead and show you. Here's a picture of uh, when we got them. They came into the classroom. So, these strips, I only have one set right now. I'm, I've got like four more ordered. They're on their way. Uh, but these strips are, I believe they're called fiducials. Um, you might think of it as like a QR code, but basically every black and white part of those little blocks along the strip that goes all the way around and they go all the way around just like that. It is different. So a camera on a robot can see the, that strip around the perimeter and know where it is on the field. Um, so you know, if you follow my channel, you've probably done vr.vex.com, and Vex VR, the little robot, ha always knows its X and Y location on the field. Uh, and so there's all kinds of programming that we've done over the past year and a half. We've done all this different programming where it's been dependent on the robot knowing where it is on the field. And so then how does that translate to uh, the real world? Well, it didn't really in the past. Um, you would still have to use sensors to you know sense how far away an object is. They did have vision sensors. We've had vision sensors where we could see those game elements like those yellow uh, goals there in the middle of the field. And the robot could know, you know, how far away it is from it by the size of the object in the, in the image, um, required quite a bit of maybe more advanced programming understanding, uh, on the, on the part of the student. But let me just tell you, these GPS sensors are so freaking amazing. Okay. So we have this little robot in my classroom and call him affectionately call him sensor bot. Uh, I have built him. I think I've I've had him here in my studio and shown you guys uh, this little guy before. So we put this little tower on there, and we slapped on the GPS uh, GPS sensor. You can see it right there. It's a little camera. Now I don't know what the secret sauce is. There may be some. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some electronics inside this sensor. It's not just a little webcam. And we went just went ahead and started experimenting. We put the strips on the field. We put the sensor on the robot and plugged it in. Put the robot in the middle of the field. Pushed the button, opened up the device, and boom. Like, it knew already where it was on the field. I was already getting X and Y coordinates and heading coordinates. Um, you guys, I don't know how to say how excited this made me feel. The fact that I didn't actually have to program anything, um, to, it automatically started working out of the box. This is just a little video that uh, I did. 
So I'm, I've got my sensor bot guy. I have a program written where it will determine the angle that it needs to turn and then drive to a specific X, Y coordinate that I gave it. So I'm, so the robot right now is driving to a specific X, Y coordinate on the field using the camera to know where it is and if it's gotten there or not. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I have only, I only messed with this for like two hours, um, max. All right. So yeah, you can see he's getting stuck there a little bit, but anyway, only messed with this for like two hours and got the field strip on the field, the, um, the GPS sensor mounted, got it all set up through VEX code and was able to get a program going uh, where it could actually drive based on uh, X, Y coordinates. I'm going to just show you how I did that. Uh, disclaimer, this is still brand new to me, um, but I think it's brand new to a lot of people. So hopefully this video lasts and it, uh, I, I don't say anything too stupid. Uh, but the first thing you're going to want to do is put your field strip on your field. Uh, in this picture, let me just show you. They are numbered. There's a little number at the bottom. Uh, it's either on the bottom left or right of the strips. Um, this strip right here that is on this rail, like right where I am right now, uh, we put number one there. And then we put number two over there. I'll use the mouse. We put number two right here, number three, and number four. They do need to go in, in order. And that we saw documentation on that, and that's how we did it. Zero, zero is right here in the middle. So that'll always be your origin right there. In uh, the way that I have it set up right now, blue, is, blue alliance is in the positive Y. Red alliance is in the negative Y. Um, and then so the X axis is left and right as you're looking at the field right now. So up here in the upper right would be quadrant one, two, three, and four. Okay. Just like your regular math stuff. Um, so then that's set up. Now I need to go to uh, VEX code. Okay. So if I go to VEX code V5, um, if you click add a device and then you'll see GPS right there. Uh, click GPS. You got to select the port it's plugged into. It uses the smart cables. So you just plug in uh, to the GPS and then plug into the port. Uh, I think I used port 11. All right. Now this part was a little bit interesting. I was able to click on this link right here. It says learn more. And there's so much information here that you can go through and look at. So description of uh, the GPS sensor uh, uses the field code. Uh, and then you know, mounting the GPS sensor. So I saw this, oh, okay. So the GPS sensor should be on uh, at, at a level with the field strips, okay? So I was like, okay. So I got that l pretty much level with the field strip. Uh, and then uh, it says, again, see the VRC field ranges from approximately 1.5 meters to, or 1.8 meters to 1.8 meters. Uh, so cool. So I said, oh, okay, there's reporter blocks that you're here. You can use. There's some example projects. I haven't tried those yet. Uh, and then, um, yeah, then it showed you how you can go to the brain and hit devices. You can hit the actual uh, device and then it comes up with, uh, this interesting, uh, screen right here with the X, Y and heading. Uh, and I picked up the robot and moved it around. Right. And it was updating like live. So I didn't have to have any program running, just had this device thing open. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, you can click on image. So this is the location. This is showing you its location on the field. So then you click image and then it actually shows a live image on the brain itself. And then having it show the image of what it's seeing and it adds this little green perimeter and these red dots to show that it's seeing the fiducial. All right, and then configuring the GPS sensor. This is where I saw um, that. Uh, and then uh, it's telling you about the offset. So for instance, if you can get it in the turning center point of the robot, you need to know where that is. So anyway, it says to measure from that uh, place. Um, and so 
that's kind of where I did on my little sensor bot. I grabbed a ruler and then that's when I was able to go in here and change the X offset. My X offset was about 60 millimeters and check that out, it changed right here. So I can get a visual indication of where my camera actually is uh, on the robot. Uh, and so that worked perfectly. And that's exactly where my little GPS sensor is on my sensor bot. The angle offset, I believe if you do that, it's pointing this way um, at the positive Y. If you do 180, it's pointing that way. And so I think this is set up to be pointing at the, um, uh, I think it's set up this way automatically to be on the back of the robot pointing behind itself. Um, but I don't think it matters. I think you can have it pointing off to the side just as long as it can, it can see where it is and knows kind of how it's angled. I don't, I think you could probably do 45 degrees. That'd be kind of interesting, but it would depend upon the kind of, uh, if you had like a, a lift or an intake system, you had all kinds of stuff. And that could be obstructing the camera a, a, a lot. Well, I don't think it matters. You can point it wherever you need to, just as long as it's at the right height. So that's pretty cool. Uh, then you just click done and there you go. You've got it set up. So now it came time where I'm like, I want to make this thing work. I want to make it do something, but uh, I don't have any, uh, any programs, but I thought, wait a second, I do actually have something. Let's go over here to the Facebook group, VexCode, the Facebook group VexCode, and then I went to announcements and I realized that I had an announcement here that I could click on and it took me to a spreadsheet of submissions of people who have submitted a uh, code for vr.vex.com. And then I have this, I remembered, oh, I created this happy new year code. I'm gonna download that so I download it, then I go to vr.vex.com and I'll say load. So I'll load that file in here and I remember I created this function, go to X chord, Y chord, boom. And I was like, well, I can use that. And that, that should work. So I will copy this text then I'll go back to VEX code right here. I went to the code button right here. I said, convert text project. Um, yeah, discard. Yeah. All right. So now I have this code right here, uh, above the when started, I just went ahead and pasted the, um, the function that I wrote in VR. And now I just needed to come in here and make a few little updates, right? So for instance, um, location, if I go under sensing, the command or the code is a little bit different. I think it is, it's GPS, GPS uh, dot X underscore position millimeters. And I think it's actually GPS 11, because that's the one I have set up. GPS dot X. Okay, so then this one would be X underscore position. Take this little X out right here. Uh, so that was, I think that was the only update I needed. So this, this all worked. I don't think I have any errors uh, on this at all. So basically now I have a, a function that I wrote. And so when started my variable path. Okay. So I'll just go right here and I could just say, go to and then put in the coordinates that I want it to go to, go to zero, zero, and it'll do it. <laughs> um, pretty awesome. I just clicked, I clicked download and run. And the first time I did it, it didn't go where I wanted it to, but <laughs> almost very, very close. It went very, very close to the place that I wanted it to go to. I think there's still some maybe calibration that I need to do uh, in my programming here. Um, because what works really well in virtual doesn't always work really well in real life. And you'll notice that what I have going on here is it calculates the angle it needs to turn to, to get there. And then it 
uh, calculates the distance and then it says drive forward for that distance. Um, well, you know, my drivetrain on little sensor bot is not the best. There could be issues there uh, for it not getting to the place it needs to go to. But as far as like turning and pointing at the place it needs to go to and driving for a reasonable amount of time that it would have taken to go that distance, it's almost perfect. So I am super excited about how, how awesome this is and what it means for the future of VRC competition, especially the autonomous portion, the first 15 seconds of each round, and then also the skills. Um, and then how this is going to be, I think, an excellent gateway to VEX AI. All right, so that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you today. I really hope that you enjoyed that video. And if you did enjoy this video, please click the like, consider subscribing, uh, make sure that you join our Facebook uh, group at VexCode and, uh, you know, do all the things. I really appreciate you guys. Have a good one.